And uh, more durian. Now, I think it's just not quite the peak season for durian yet, but it's getting there. But this is the most famous durian or the most expensive durian. And did you know in Malaysia, some more uh, big restaurants here, these guys have been around for years. Most of these uh, are really well-established uh, restaurants along the street here. And you can hear the guys yelling at the people walking by to get them to come to their restaurant. Thanks, guys, for watching. Also, um, I have a Patreon page now. Feel free to check that out. The link is in this post. And you can uh, become uh, a sponsor of Far East Adventure Travel for as little as a dollar a month and get all kinds of access to exclusive content, travel advice, and other stuff as well. So feel free to check that out in the post. The link is there. Thanks for, uh, thanks for doing that. And uh, there's another restaurant up here I usually come to. I don't think I'll have a chance to this trip. But uh, this place is good, uh, we're just around the corner here. We'll go have a look at it. This is a busy, always a busy place at night. Oh, here's all the fruit here. So uh, this is rambutan. Rambutan is one of my favorites. Oh, and they got lychee is, uh, lychee is so, this is the juiciest out of this family of uh, fruit. And then longan as well. Longan is very um, uh, sought after in East Asia. Lychee is my favorite and I love rambutan as well. And, and very good, yes, yeah, I agree. And uh, uh, Malaysian fruit is top quality, top quality fruit. Always some of the best, sweetest quality fruit. This is the restaurant I was telling you about here. And this is good. They're open in the morning, so you can get a noodle breakfast in the morning here. Seafood noodles if you want in the morning, which is really good. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is the Jalan Alwar. I've been coming here for a few years now. Love this place. Been a couple years since I've been. And I uh, had quite a day today. Oh boy, I'm so tired. Oh, sorry. Let's walk around here. Snack corner, yes, you can get burgers and hot dogs and stuff like that, of course. But uh, Malaysians are food lovers and it's a unique culture. It's uh, one of the most unique cultures in Southeast Asia in that it's very multi, um, it is very multicultural. Lots of Indians have come together with uh, Chinese and Malays and uh, indigenous people. Uh, yeah, Malaysian durian is the best, right? I was just telling my followers that. It's the, the dur Now, is it the, is it the peak season now? Look at this. Wow. Okay, this is not real. This is Musan King, yeah, yeah, which is the number one, right? So how much? Uh, one kilo. One kilo? Forty-five. Forty-five ringgit. So that's... So number two? Yeah. One kilo, thirty. Thirty ringgit. Yeah. So about eight dollars no, US? Eight, ten dollars US? Number two, more sweet. More sweet. Number one, sweet bitter. Sweet and bitter. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I'll come back. There you got a durian lesson there. K yes, there's KFC here. Oh, I'm gonna show you something. Let's uh, cross the street. I, I saw. You're gonna. Uh, this is gonna kill you if they have the pictures. The, the menu they have in Malaysia for KFC for breakfast is crazy. You'll, you'll never see this stuff anywhere else in the world but in Malaysia. And uh, oh, this is good. They're building an MRT stop here, a subway stop. It's about time. A new MRT stop here. That's good. I'm going to see if I can show you that menu at the KFC for breakfast. I saw uh, Robert just joined us. This is great. Robert is uh, my friend and Lonely Planet writer. And uh, we got some street uh, we got some street entertainment here. Let's see what's going on. But I want, what did I want to show you? I want to show you the breakfast menu at KFC in Malaysia. It's unique. That's all I'll say. You'll never see it anywhere else. I can't, I don't know. Maybe they don't have it uh, out here. What else have they got here? 
I mean, this is, do you see this at regular KFC? I don't think so. The, uh, they had some really wild breakfast stuff at KFC that um, you're never going to see in Canada or the United States, for sure. Yeah, this stuff up here. Uh, they don't have the, po they got to fix the poster. Looks like they even have it halal, good for them. This is some of the breakfast sandwiches. Okay, a little bit of street music here from Malaysia. This place is always bustling at night. And uh, I just heard, let's take a walk up here. Hey there, it's John Sabo of Far East Adventure Travel, and I'm in Kuching, Sarawak, on the island of Borneo, enjoying a wonderful sunset here, riverside at the Sarawak River. Just wanted to give a shout out again to those that have recently written a podcast review for Far East Adventure Travel, and Russ Bythe of Canada recently wrote, really enjoying your podcast, John, from Tihar to Nepal to the guys fishing and the beaches of India. Well, that's great, Russ. Thank you so much for taking the time to write a podcast review. Writing a podcast review really helps others discover Far East Adventure Travel. I'm going to leave a link to the podcast page in the show description or show notes here. Uh, please follow that. That will take you to the podcast page. Just make sure you're signed into your iTunes account. Then click Ratings and Review at the top of the page. Rate the podcast out of five stars, then go down a little bit further and then click Write a Review and then Submit Your Review and help others discover Far East Adventure Travel. I have a Patreon page now. For as little as $1 a month, you can get exclusive access to Far East Adventure Travel content, including behind the scenes looks at my travels. Please follow the link in the show description or show notes. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the podcast. I just read about this uh, new uh, Lot 10 place up the street here. They have a lot of us, like a, it's like a hawker center inside. I prefer the Jalan Alor style, but apparently this place is pretty good. I don't know. It's called Lot 10 and they have, uh, I can't remember what it was last time I was here. It was just like an electronics, it was a shopping mall or they've, they've got a big street food um, center in there now. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look up here. This is uh, one of the monorail the lines of uh, Kuala Lumpur. They have a, a kind of a wonky uh, subway MRT system here. It's not really consistent, but it's not bad. It's just not as consistent as, uh, say, a place like Taipei or Singapore. But they have this is the monorail line that comes through here. Uh, Isatan is a famous Japanese uh, store, uh, grocery store, department store. And I was just at their grocery store today at the uh, I, at the um, Petronas Towers Mall, the mall that's next to the Petronas Towers. There are more street performers around here too. This is cool. 
I've been coming to Kuala Lumpur for years, and it's it's a city in Asia that, you know, if you just come here seeking like, you know, history and old stuff, you might be disappointed. You kind of have to. Your visit has to encompass everything that the city has to offer now. I think to really get Kuala Lumpur, you have to visit, you know, the Chinatowns, the Jalan Alors, uh, the the you know the traditional neighborhoods that are still around. Uh, but you got to go to Petronas Towers. You got to go to the. Sh you got to go to the. Sh you got to go to the shopping malls. You got to go to all these. You got to see everything, and then you you get Kuala Lumpur. That's for me, Kuala Lumpur. So thanks for watching. If you're watching the replay, I really appreciate that, and uh, following me on Far East Adventure Travel, and also checking out my Patreon page. Appreciate all the support there, and all the support from the past. I, I cannot do this without the support of you guys, whether if, if it's if it's just spiritual or um, support in, uh, in, in watching these shows and sharing them out. I can't do this, it's such a hard thing to do. I can't do it without that support, I just can't. And I've been able to keep this going as long as I have because of uh, the people like you that are watching right now, so thanks. the KL Manera and that's a observatory you can go up to here and it's actually I think it's a better view than Petronas Towers that's what they tell me I've never actually gone up this uh, tower here I've been up at Petronas before or Petronas however you want to pronounce it and uh, it's spectacular but uh, I've never been up here before maybe one of these days I'll check this out Uh, these places are so exciting to be walking around in at night and you have to be careful uh, of your uh, personal belongings when you're walking around uh, Kuala Lumpur. There is theft here for sure, but sure is a fun place to be, I have to tell you that. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, stay tuned, more to come. Uh, also, if you want to get the notifications, make sure you're uh, catching me live. Uh, there's a little switch somewhere, you just have to push or a button and um, and then you'll get the live notifications whenever I come on. Um, I'm just here, I'm leaving tomorrow, Russ. I'm going off to another place, and uh, you will find out tomorrow. I will be coming to you live from there. I'm so excited to be going to this place, by the way. It's so exotic and amazing, so stay tuned. Let's find some more photo bombers before I sign off. Look at all of this delicious seafood here. It's so good. And for a big city in Southeast Asia, it's a bargain. Don't go to fancy, re you can go to fancy restaurants here if you want. Don't waste your money doing that. Just go to places like this. You get the real experience of, uh, of eating in Southeast Asia. It's, uh, it's very humid right now. It's maybe 30 plus Celsius. Hi. <laughs> well, let's say you got you got to say hi with me, okay? Okay, come on. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna say from, bye together. Hmm. From Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Canada. Hello, hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. See you soon. I'm from Canada. See you. Take care. Bye bye.